you gotta love Metallica. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm not saying I'm a huge Metallica fan, but I, I do appreciate their music anyway. Well, I know everybody thought this video was done for the day, but uh, I actually, <laughs> actually uh, wanted to, I had more to actually say on today's little rant day or whatever, you know, as you call it. I don't know. Maybe rant day is a bad name for it or whatever, but uh, I'll finally go on home too. Um, it's been a long fucking day. Well, it hasn't been too bad, I guess. It's been, it's been all right. I heard there's a storm coming soon here, coming our way. As you can tell, if you look at the clouds and all that, they don't look too good, huh? Anyway, well, the reason why I'm uh, making this part two of this video, anyway, I'm trying to hold on to the camera and drive at the same time, uh, is simply because uh, I, something crossed my mind before I clocked out of work, and I was thinking a lot about it, and it kind of bothered me a little bit, and I figured, well, you know, I tell a lot of people about this, you know, you know, privately and publicly, whatever, but I figured, well, I should tell you guys, too, since I, this uh, channel is about opinions and, and me giving you thoughts of my thoughts on life and whatever, as well as having crazy adventures. But anyway, I'm going to get to the point here. I am getting sick and tired of people bashing Walmart. And, uh, and if you're one of those people that bash Walmart, you gotta give me a good enough reason why you do. Because I am getting sick and tired of hearing people all the time. You know, not everybody, but there's a ten, maybe eight or nine times out of ten, ten, there's people that talk so much about, so bad about Walmart. And, you know, they talk bad about it and they don't understand the whole, you know, they don't understand it, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm getting sick and tired of hearing these people complain. They always, certain people always like to bash Walmart. They, they always like to talk bad about, oh, they don't treat their employees good, or oh, they don't do this, they don't do that. I am so happy we got a Walmart in Thief River. You know what I found out back, oh man, I found out here about, about 2003, I think it was, when they first announced that there's a possibility of Walmart coming down to uh, uh, the area here. Uh, I was so happy about it because I, I, I was waiting for the day that a Walmart would come down to the to the area here and change Steve River, you know, change all these people that drive and shop and everything, change their lives pretty much. And a you know, cop coming. But uh, anyway, <laughs> but anyway, no, I mean, there's so many people that bash it and talk about how bad it is and how it hurts the stores or whatever. No, no, no. Listen up. It's not Walmart that hurt the stores. It's the businesses that decided to close because either A, they got the people who own the place got sick and tired of doing the same old thing all the time, or B, they just, you know, decided just to, they figured they could use that as an excuse to, to blame Walmart because of their business loss. And Thief River downtown, if you're if you're watching this vlog here and you're from around this area, um, Thief River Falls, Minnesota, or whatnot, northern Minnesota, and you've been to Thief River before, and you remember the good old days of how it used to be, how every, like how Main Street, the old Main Street as we call it now, used to be so busy all the time. And there was businesses open, there was even a nice underground arcade and everything that we had. And all of a sudden, lately, it seems like all these businesses, because they want to use Walmart as an excuse to blame Walmart for the loss of their business, uh, they decide to uh, close down. And pretty much, it, maybe one day I'll show you, or if you've seen, like in yesterday's vlog, where I went to, before I got to work and everything, uh, like the Ben Franklin's in town. Ben Franklin in, in town is was huge. There's a nice big store. Pretty much, the well, the first thing you see when you get to Main Street, well, that's close. And I and I knew the owners of that that uh, place or whatever, well, or Ben Franklin. I didn't know them that well, but I knew they're a bunch of douchebags or whatever because they they're they're all about profit. They weren't about helping the store you know, uh, build up to the next generation, build up to the next generation of crap. And that was kind of quite sad. And so, you know, that, that's just one of the many many places that decided to shut down. And then, like, we got some places around that are like Maurice's or whatever that uh, decided to move closer to the Walmart area just because they figured the business would be a lot better. So, I don't know. 
this is just a little rant. What do you guys think of that? I mean, I know Walmart isn't the greatest place ever, but I am so happy we got one. And I'm sure you guys live in an area uh, that has a Walmart. And if you do, what do you guys think about that? I mean, do you think, uh, are, are you happy you have a Walmart? Could you live without it? Could there be some changes? Uh, is your town affected by the, the having a Walmart in your town? Is some of the area businesses affected by it? I'm not saying that all businesses are, you know, are, are, are not, uh, people don't know how to run businesses, because there's a lot of people that do. It's just, it seemed like it, it started to tr be a trend. If it was just one or two businesses, I could see okay. But not damn near six or seven businesses that were so successful, and that were so much, so great, uh, you know, and people enjoyed, you know, what they were doing. So I don't know. Let me, uh, give me your thoughts. I really want to know what uh, you guys think about this. So that's my little rant. This is a little part two edition of the rant. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So we'll see you tomorrow for another great Frankie Sausage Show daily summer vlog video.